Sure enough, there's a Navy research and development base out there. Mm. <laughs> yep. And so it was very, very uh, casual for them, but very freaky for me. Mm-hmm. This is even before I did my stint at NASA for the James Webb Space Telescope. Mm-hmm. So it was really cool to kind of put two and two together years later. Sure. And it totally made sense. And, the, and then the physics makes sense. And, mm-hmm. and so at least... Maybe not the physics that all of us were taught for the last 150 years. Mm-hmm. But if you do your research and you really dig down deep and you go into the, yes, you're going to go into some dead ends. And yes, you're going to find some information that, that is very exciting, mm-hmm. but most likely probably isn't it. Mm-hmm. But there are some things out there that you can find on your own without having to sign an NDA to learn about, <laughs> sure. which is a big thing with the patents. And once, once I found the TR3B Black Manta, and the patents on that, then I started digging. And that's when I started finding some of the things about light and this, that, and the other. Uh, so inside the patent of the TR3 black, uh, TR3B Black Manta, or a triangular spacecraft, as mm-hmm. the patent calls it, mm-hmm. um, there's a patent in there that says... And we'll put that up, too. So oh, absolutely. Yeah, it'd right. be great. Um, the patent in there says that if you read through it enough, there's a portion of it that says this needs to be patented and it needs to be governed by law because it part of the actual spacecraft, they have gravity emitters, which is what allows you to travel at the speed of light. It controls the gravity field in which you are in. And so... So you, it nullifies gravity, basically? Pretty much, in exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. So if you were to take these gravity emitters, this is why I tell people not to be worried about a comet ever hitting Earth. You never have to worry about it again. So if you take these gravity emitters and you put it at each pole of the cardinal directions of a planetary body or a planetoid, which is better described as a comet or a body in space floating around, 